Sea levels around the world are rising. Current sea level rise potentially impacts human populations in the natural environment. Global average sea level rose at an average rate of around 1.7 to 0.3 million years per year over the years 1950 to 2009, and a satellite measured average rate of about 3.3 to 0.4 million years per year from 1993 to 2009. An increase on earlier estimates. It is unclear whether increased rate reflects an increase from the underlying long-term period. This figure above shows the change in annually average sea level at 23 stable tide gauges. The thick dark line is a three-year moving average of the instrumental records. The records show that there have been an increase of sea level rise. In Antarctica, the melted sea level has risen 61 millimeters, while melting of all the other glaciers and ice fields in the world will only rise to 0.5 meters. Therefore, surprisingly, that 70% of the presenting melting glaciers induce sea level rise is due to the small glaciers. Today, the sea level rises about 3 millimeters per year. Half of this is due to melting of glaciers and the other half due to thermal expansion of the seawater. For many years in the Marshall Islands, the government has been concerned with the issue of global climate change. A major study on the detection and possible impacts of climate change and sea level rise in the Marshall Islands was commissioned in the early 1990s. Approximately 1,225 islets and 29 atolls are scattered over 3 fourths million square miles. The average height above sea level is 7 feet or 2 meters. The highest land area is on Vigia Atoll, where the elevation reaches a maximum altitude of only 6 meters. Fragile coral reefs fringe the atolls and serve as the only line of defense against the ocean surge. The clearance of the reef in the sections that are covered by water is usually no more than a couple of feet. In other places, the reef is commonly only barely submerged. The Marshall Islands lie in an open ocean, and the islands are generally very close to the sea level. The vulnerability to waves and storm surges can damage a lot of parts in the Marshall Islands. Given projected to sea level rise, the Marshall Islands in the tropical Pacific Ocean are expected to be underwater in 90 years. The Marshall Islands are currently building sea walls using broken down cars mixed with different types of waste and sand. Up to this day, scientists and many people around the world have been talking about this problem for some time now. Even they have not come up with a solution for that problem. If we stop global warming, then we stop rising sea levels. The rising sea levels are due to global warming. Reducing the global temperature is apparently the only practical solution. Help stop global warming. And today. thank you for watching.